So in the very beginning of the of the devotional, they say, mm, that's more like humming. Mm, they just get warmed up. It's like the Holy Ghost. It's like something spinning, like all of what humming represents. Somebody singing to a baby. Mm, but now they're saying mercy because you meditate. And when you meditate, you start to find things. So you're in the presence of the Lord. So you, you're asking the Lord, okay, have mercy, oh my Lord. Then the next time you say, ooh, now that's also like the sound of the Holy Ghost, ooh. But also, ooh, something bad happened or something. It's like an old moan, there's a ooh. Now you say, oh my Lord, oh my Lord. So first you're taking the M and you're saying mercy. Then you're saying, oh my Lord, right? Then you go, ah, and that eye is more open than the ooh, ah. I was, Lord. See, so you're telling the Lord, I was. I was this, but now I am this. So it's like deals with the kind of past and the present. Because the Lord and the mythology exist in all times at once. So only you can be was. The Lord cannot be was. The Lord is, and the Lord always is. So you're telling the Lord, I was, and the Lord is saying, is. You see? So the whole point of meditation is you thought, and, you, and now through that meditation, you now are, but you was. So I was, Lord. And it's, it, and it's the, the act of genuflection is an admission before the Lord. And that admission is an act of honesty, because it's honesty, because it's meditation. You're in the presence of the Lord. The Lord is not going to judge you. The Lord is going to hold your hand and smile at you and tell you everything is okay. Even in our lives, the person who is least judgmental to us is the ones that we will naturally confide in. Now, if you combine that, that least judgmental character with a knowledgeable characteristic, so if you can figure the person that's the most knowledgeable, the least judgmental, and the most loving towards you, and you magnify that, then that's, that's the equivalent of being in the presence of the Lord. So it is naturally healing, because whatever your problem is, whatever you've been dealing with, your insecurities, whatever it is that makes you cling to your problems, well, the Lord is, you don't have to do that in front of the Lord, because there are no problems in, in the presence of the Lord. So that's what that meditation is. And that meditation balances with the devotional. And it also balances with the uh, inv invocation and chant.